I really like. I really like. I really like. Card games. And this one is Legends of Runeterra. Uh, League of Legends is a take on the genre. Uh, it probably came out over a year ago now, which is weird because it feels pretty new to me. Uh, I recently jumped back into it. I played a lot at the beginning, kind of fell off. Um, it's free to play because it's a card game, of course. Uh, there's the collection aspect of it where you can buy packs uh, to kind of ramp up your, your curve of getting stuff. There are free to play rewards, and I think this is actually, if you're going to do a card game as free to play, I think this is the most generous one there is. So it's been a little bit since we did Hearthstone, and for that one we did playing against the AI. Uh, for this one I'm going to jump into something a little bit different. If you watch the Hearthstone video, a good amount of those ideas uh, that that game was working with are present here. But every one of these games has its own little tweak. So for this one, we'll be doing an expedition, uh, is what it's called in Runeterra. Uh, Hearthstone calls it an arena. Magic might call it draft. That might be a different thing. Basically, you start from nothing and you just pick cards. I believe you get a choice of three uh, at any time and you pick one to put into your deck and you build a deck just based off of that. You get three random cards, pick one, build a deck as best you can. Then you go up against people who have also done that and try and win, I think, well, win as many as you can without losing, I think, three times. It's either three or two. Um, I like these modes because they even the playing field uh, for the free-to-play people like me. You do have to spend in-game currency here um, to actually unlock this, but uh, once a week you get, like, a free entry. Um, so... I'm doing that. Also, uh, in Runeterra, it's nice because whenever you pay to do an expedition, you get this trial one and trial two. So essentially, you can go through this process twice and you get the rewards for your better result. So it's one of my favorite modes. And I think it is pretty good for trying to bring you all along for this ride. Uh, and know a little bit more about what's going on because you'll see kind of how the deck comes together. Uh, just real quick, I'm going to go over the very basics. Uh, the little numbers here are how much, I think it's mana in this, uh, cards cost. You start out the game with one, so the lower the cost, or the lower the number, uh, the earlier in the game you can play it. For this mode, uh, what I'm going to be looking for to build my deck, the number one priority is the mana curve. So having, uh, you'll see down here, as I pick cards, basically a nice bell curve uh, of cards of different mana levels so I can predictably actually play um, cards on my turn and not get far behind that way. Uh, and it's probably even going to, if I do it well and get lucky enough, skew a little bit higher on the two, three, and fours, because with these uh, expedition runs, generally the more aggressive decks work better. And a thing about Runeterra is they, it's based on League, so they have champion cards uh, from champions from League of Legends, which are kind of like the legendaries, like the most interesting, rarest, best kind of cards. Uh, there's a limit to how many you can have in de your decks, but uh, they kind of start you off with little buckets here that um, you choose from with the champion that will kind of determine the type of deck you've got going here. So, Katarina, what does she do? She kind of uh, goes back and forth from your board into your hand, which can kind of heal her. This guy's pretty good. 
He's got high stats for a one drop. And that's just a nice buff. Twisted Fate, basically, is just a trickster man. <laughs> and can do a lot of different things. You choose basically his effects. This guy, when I'm summoned, draw one at the next round. Eh, it's okay. What is this? An ally captures another ally and it gains the captured ally stats. So basically it, one ally, which is a minion, something you play on the board is gonna suck up uh, another one and you get buffed based on what you sucked. <laughs> And then Callista is kind of just straight stats, and she gets better when allies die. This guy. Pick a follower from the top four cards in your deck, draw it, place the rest into your deck. This guy, kill an ally to draw two. I'm probably going to go with this first one. Again, I'm looking for early game aggression, probably, and this card is just really good. Uh, buffs are always nice. Katarina's fine. So, what do we got here next? Working with Shivana, who gets buffed when she attacks. Summon a random five cost that gets uh, easier to play if somebody dies. When I'm summoned, if you behold a dragon, I don't know what behold means. Uh, you behold something if you have it in play or your hand. Okay, so basically I need dragons, and I think Shivana's probably a dragon. Uh, he gets better. Even then, a 2-mana 3-2 is not bad. I'm going to go with this. I don't want to go through explaining my choices too, too much. Um, just because I don't want this part of the video to take four years. Um, I just think it'll work best for the deck. Uh, so we should be looking out for dragon synergy. When you play a dragon, it strikes me. Then you draw one. Don't love that. It's a pretty decent dragon though. Buff. Don't think I'm gonna have many people from Noxus. Well, I guess right now. Quick overview. It's kind of like the types of cards. Right now I have Demasi and Noxus. I think you can have three different regions. Um, so I got, this guy isn't that bad, actually. Uh, the Legion summoned a Mist Wraith. Meh. Yeah, I'm not going to do that one. Don't really like that. I also don't like the buff, though. This guy's crap. I love it that it's a cute little elephant, but... Alright, I'm going with this one. Deal one damage. I should also pay attention down here to my units versus spells and kind of keep in mind if I need removal, which I kind of do, which is just ways to get rid of their stuff. Uh, don't think I really want those. Deal three to an ally to deal three to anything. Kill a damage unit. Or destroy a landmark. I don't know what a landmark is. Deal one damage. It's probably not going to be the best deck in the world, since, again, I'm going to try and pick relatively quickly. Um, but usually the first couple games are fairly easy, so hopefully we can get a couple wins, and I think I'm only going to do, like, two games. Eh, that guy's not bad. Grant an ally 1 1 rally. Meh. Doing that one. Deal 2 to an enemy if this kills it. Deal 4 to their nexus, which is kind of how you win the game. <clears throat> hmm. That guy's got really low health for a 7 cost. How many Noxus stuff do I have? I have another Noxus ally. Uh, let's see. I'll do that for now. Going aggro. Going full aggro. Other than if I find good dragons. What is Guile? 
stun an enemy. It's not bad. <laughs> it's just really, really low health, though. It's a little slow. Hmm. What's reputation? <laughs> Some of these are new, new-ish from the days that I haven't played. Some of these keywords, so I kind of got to look it up a little bit. Uh, activates if allies have struck for five or more damage. Ooh. That seems hard to do. Legion Marauders. No, I don't want that. It's not ideal. 1-1. One, one. Yeesh. None of these are great. It's only a two cost. It's just this one that deals damage to yourself. I got a lot of fairly low health minions, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it too much, and I've already got one. <sighs> I like this guy because he's high stats for four drop, though. Let's do this one. Could use some four and five drops. Pick an enemy and two others. Strike it, so that's some decent removal. An ally with fury strikes two weakest enemies. I don't think I really have fury on anybody, unfortunately, so that's probably not worth using. Hmm. I do like concerted strike, though. But, I mean, this is just a dead card for... Functionally. I'm gonna go with this one. I need four drops, so... I'll probably take this. Egghead Researcher, when I'm summoning... Yeah, get some more Dragon Synergy, too. Do I have any one-drop minions, really? No. Barrier's nice to have, though. Got a lot of two-drop minions. Yeah, okay. Got a couple of four-drops. Give me an ally barrier this round, rally, which kind of gives me more momentum. I know some of this I'm not going to be able to fully explain, so we'll get a better overview once we've got the deck built. Reforge. Create a random blade fragment still needed to restore the blade. Oh, that sounds interesting. Someone give me quick attack this round, yeah. Need a five drop for real, though. Attack. Grant me four, zero. I wonder if it can attack at all. <laughs> if it's got zero power immediately. I don't know if it can. I think I need a buff on it. Which I don't have a ton of. I also don't have like any removal. Hmm. I need late game a little bit, so, you know, I'll risk it for the biscuit, I guess. I've got a couple of buffs, just not a ton. I mean, that's a buff there. <laughs> Why not? Alright, now I've finished all of my regular picks and can swap some out if I want to. I can make one of these choices, I believe. Nope, I lied. I thought it was one and then like I went to another page, but I guess I can do any one of these. Which, I'll probably switch this guy out. Oh, I was right. You see, trust your instincts. How many spells do we have? We don't have great removal. Kill a damage unit or destroy a landmark. Ch -ch 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 -ch. 
buffs are slightly important. I'm gonna go with my gut that we need removal. And there you go, there's the deck. Um, so we will jump into this first game, hopefully uh, get a W and uh, actually as you go on, uh, depending on how you win and when you win, um, you can swap more things out and add more things to the deck to kind of refine it. Uh, so the further you go on, generally the better decks you face and the better people theoretically. So I'm going to drop all of these. I can uh, replace any uh, of my starting draw. I want my low cost minions essentially. Which we got to some extent. I would have liked to have a one drop, but oh well. I think he has played a boy where he can uh, pick one of those three cards. So while we've got some time, um, I'll go over some of the unique bits of Runeterra. One of them being this little token that just swapped sides here, um, which is, there are basically two phases. Uh, one where you're on attack and one where you're on defense. Right now, he was on attack, um, so I didn't have anything here in my little board area <laughs> um, ready to defend against him. So he just got free damage on me, which you can see here, you've got 20 health. Don't let your opponent reduce your nexus to zero or else you'll get lose. Um, but now this token has switched to my side, this little sword, and I kind of have more control here. So, what do we want to do? When does this guy level up? I've struck once. Uh, why don't I level up or call me? Okay. So, do you want to do that? Probably. And another thing, let's see, yeah, you can't see it, um, is down here, these little pips. Since I didn't use my mana uh, the first round, I've got one spell mana, which you can get up to three. Um, so... That stores indefinitely if I don't use it, um, but I might this turn, <laughs> because I can use this. Um, and you can spend that mana at any time, but only on spells, hence spell mana. This boy has Challenger, because I've got a dragon in my hand, which is his little card text ability thing so I can pull anybody here to defend rather than him choosing so I'm going to do the one where my boy will stay alive this lady has quick attack which means she attacks first uh, and wouldn't get damaged anyway uh, so I'm fine with putting her out and because I have satisfied her little level up card text as a champion they all have those um do I want to do this? Do you want damage to anything? Just deal it to the Nexus. Because that card was fleeting, uh, meaning it was going to go away if I didn't use it. I used my spell mana, but whatever. Uh, I'd rather use the card. So every champion has a way to level up, which they get more stats and their ability um, changes a little bit. Uh, basically always good to do. So it's nice having that out so early. So I just put out a 5-4, who could heal him theoretically. So I want something that'd be able to kill that. How does she level up? I've seen dragon allies deal 12 damage. She's probably never gonna do that. I'm probably gonna put out this lady because she gives me a card and I'm not that attached to her and I think she's going to die. So, <laughs> I don't really mind. Bonk. 
And do I want it? Yeah, I'll probably block him. So they'll kill each other. This celestial dog of some sort, the messenger, will continue on uh, doing damage to me. But it's only two, so I'm not too concerned. Who we got? Who we got? Who we got? Man, I'm not curving out here, ideally. I've summoned, recall me. Uh, do, 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 do. Probably put out my other champion card. I'll be able to attack with her uh, and give her 1-1. One, one. So she'll be a 4-5, probably. If he puts out anything that can kill her, I can just put out this stun. So... She'll get her ball rolling a little bit more. We'll see what he decides to do. That is if he doesn't have like a removal spell to kill it immediately. Yee. Hello. Also, while you're bored waiting for the other person to do something, you can always go over here and click on your little boy and make him do a little, <laughs> do a little emotion. About the motion motions. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and stun this guy. Which just will mean he won't be able to defend against me. Which, since it's got four attack, he would be able to kill my woman. And I would not. Oh. That's not even true. But <laughs> I'm still fine with stunning him there. Uh, just so I can. Uh, pump some damage through and start working on her level up ability. What does she do? Stun the strongest enemy. Tit for tat. Alright. Who do we want here? Probably this man. And I was probably going to attack. Yeah. I'll go ahead and take out his dragon. Yeah. He's going to go buff it, though. Which is a little sad, so it'll live. I may end up using this to kill it. But I'd rather kind of develop my board for now. Because this spell I can use kind of as a surprise a little bit. Uh, let's see. This will be very good. But I'm going to go ahead and just place a lower cost man. To see what he might play. This will be good because it has quick attack... He's leveled up his champion. That's never good. He's got quick attack uh, on his first turn and this challenger thing, which is the thing where I can drag a boy so I can hopefully actually take out this dragon and keep this guy alive. There's also this. Can make little stickers happen. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's going to freeze me, so I'm not going to be able to do that. What does this guy do? It's always day for us. I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's see. Not in a great position. I'm going to pass. Don't think I'm going to attack. Which is not good. I do not feel confident about this game right now. What is this? Stun again. Everybody stunning my boys. No, 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 no. What 
we want to do. These men. Two birds! One stone. What you doing, my friend? Okay. Let's think. What does she do? I guess she just stuns all the time. No, 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 no. Block that. Block that. Might let that damage go through. Lively, soldier. Yeah. It's a decent chunk, but I've kind of hopefully got an idea of what I want here. Uh, let's see. Can we spend. I think we should spend our four mana and leave the two spell mana. To get her out. I think he's gonna stun my boy again. It's annoying. Alright. What are we doing? <laughs> I think we're doing this at the very least to get rid of him. Supper. And get rid of her. I think that's it. Now I'm going to be able to get onto the attack phase again because that wasn't actually my turn. This lady just gives me the opportunity to kind of go through that an additional time when I play her. So... Let's do... Heads will roll. <laughs> Does it matter? Does it matter? Probably not. I've got a little surprise for this man. Depending on what he tries to do. Hmm, interesting. Well, I'm just going to do this anyway. <laughs> Kill the uh, damage minion. Get his leveled up champion out of here. I'm actually looking better now. Because I'm going to be able to play Katarina again. And get another opportunity to... Attack. And this lady, I think, will become a five, five, six, and then she's still got quick attack, so. No great harm there. How close are we leveling up Shivana? We're there! Dope! Dragon Woman! What do you got now? Give me 2 2 this round when she attacks. Create a fleeting strafing strike in hand. Is she dead? She's dead. <laughs> Crap. Alright. Do we want to 
wanna play this. Or do we wanna play Katarina again? I think keeping up, up the momentum is just important. Okay. Thug and steel. The life steal's annoying though. I think we gotta play this guy. Hope we get kind of lucky with the five drop that we get. What once was two now is one. I'm gonna take this one out. So, methinks I'm dead. <laughs> I am dead. Unfortunate. Rippy doo doos. All right, can trade out something. slightly more late game I suppose all right that wasn't great <laughs> do one more to some extent we got a little unlucky with not getting a one drop and not being able to put the pressure on quite immediately I think maybe I shouldn't have played Katarina there again because she gets sucked back into your hand and then I didn't have a board. But to some extent we were on the back foot. Especially after he killed Shivana. There we go. Give him a little wave. Uh, let's see. Place this definitely. Don't want that. Don't really want her. Give him a little wave. Okay, good. Got a one, two, three. And a buff that should be pretty dope. Boop. Where's my axe? I don't know where your axe is. Is it not in your hand? Kind of looks like it's in your hand. I'll do better this time. So he doesn't have a one drop, it looks like. That's good damage for the first turn. I write the rules of power. Reforge. <laughs> We've got one of those too. But I want to develop my board. He decides to attack. I'll probably block. This guy unfortunately can't block, which is its only downside. But that's fine. It's a two mana for a two mana. Gonna summon a couple of one ones. Not too scared of that. Get my champion out. Fortunately, I'm not gonna have the mana to use this. But he doesn't have anything too scary on the board right now. Hmm, that sucks. Okay. 
See if he wants to block with his man. He's really considering it. There's also this fun thing in Runeterra where you can hover over this eye and see the outcome of battles. So before it was going to do three damage, but now these guys are going to trade. It's more helpful when there's more stuff on the board. <laughs> What you got? Who knows? All right, I guess we can think about what we might want to do. This uh, buff is really good, plus three, plus two. Unfortunately, it only lasts for one round. I think I'll go ahead and summon a 3-3. Three, three. What does Riven do? Level up if I see Blade of Exile in your hand, which I think he needs to play all of these to do, which seems hard. Other than that, it's just a 3-4. And I'll go ahead and let him do that. Play this little, this little boy. <laughs> This little birdie boy. Three damage isn't too much. I think on my attack phase I can have some favorable trades here. Alright, we've got... This going... Oh, I need to summon an ally. Wiener. I thought that guy had challenger beforehand. Given that fact, I think I'm just going to go with these two. And it looks like he'd be able to kill my friend. I guess he's not even going to try. He's going to try. But I've got these buffs here that I can do. And I'll probably do this to keep him around rather than the other one, which would just buff his attack. And I can play this, this good old Imperial Demolitionist. If this guy ever decides to block. Thank you. Level up. Katarina. Goodness, this guy's playing slow. Get this guy down. Strike an ally or deal three to your nexus. When I slay you, drain one. Okay. No, well, that's fine. Because I was considering if I wanted to play this guy or not. <laughs> but since he doesn't have a 1 1 anymore. That works just fine. So he's going to have two spell mana, which is mildly scary. Just because he can maybe kill some of my friends, but nothing to be done about that. This is a good draw. So we can probably go into... Katarina, and then when it's our attack phase, this guy. Yeah. Use most of his mana on this crab. <laughs> what you got? What you got, what you got, what you giddy giddy got. Oh! 
These both have something called Fearsome, which means I wouldn't normally, whoops, don't want to use her, be able to block with this guy uh, since it has to be somebody with uh, four plus damage uh, or attack, but I do have this. So I could do that if I chose to. Do I choose to is the question. Probably. Probably choose to. Do I choose to? <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna have Rally here. I don't choose to. Simply for the fact that I'm going to be able to kill it here in a second. Only fools hesitate. And I'm hoping that he does not block... Okay, good. <laughs> the crab onto this one. Because I can buff it to kill this and make her survive. I wouldn't have enough if it was on this one. So a bit of a gamble, but it paid off. Probably won't have anything for one cost. Daddy's going to use any spells. That's where you're wrong. Wow, I'm fine with him doing that. I mean, because otherwise he could have just killed Katarina with it, but... No qualms there. Uh, let's see. What is this? Give an ally 2-0 this round. Hmm. Yeah, let's play Katarina again. Because we can make her a six. Ah, that's annoying. Six three with that, but he stunned me. So never mind, we'll just go ahead. If we can actually drag it, play our little ballista here. First time you slay a unit with a spell, buff him. <laughs> Let's see, do I want to attack here? I think so. I think so. Is he going to decide to block? If I was him, I'd probably block with the spider. I mean, it's not really a spider, I guess. It's a guy who's... Huh. There's no reason for him to do that. They have the same attack, and this guy's way better. But I'll take it. <laughs> okay. So, we got this buff... We've got a high damage man. We've got a couple of birds. <laughs> this game could honestly go either way as well. I think we'll do this. I'll put two things on the board that could kill his friends. Okay, that's fine. Let's go ahead and play our last minion we've got here. Hmm. 
and as it is right now, we'll be able to clear his board if he attacks. For now, this guy's our win condition, I think, because he has an ability that any damage he deals that uh, is past the thing's health, uh, if it has a blocker, uh, damages the nexus. So that can be some big damage there, uh, which is what he's using. No reason for me not to keep around my higher damage friends and block with this guy. Give an ally 2-0 this round. Yeah. I don't know that I really want to waste that. Okay. That's nice. That's really nice. Yep. That's also a win condition. <laughs> I'm playing this man. He normally, I, I think, couldn't attack, but we have that buff. And when he does attack, he gets freaking beefy. And he's got 12 health, and we've got this thing, so... That's gonna be good. I really wanted to attack right now, because I could have gotten 9 damage through. Because I could have pulled this guy. But I think that's just too good to pass up. <laughs> And it's going to work out pretty well anyway. So let's take this here and punch some damage through. Dope. Dope, dope, dope. D-O-P, D-O-P, D-O-P-E, yeah. <laughs> Follower, create an ephemeral. Okay. So, let's see. That's actually not that bad. I thought it was going to be on the board. He just kind of made a copy of my guy, but it goes away after one turn. So, whatever. I think we're good. Hey, we're good! GG. This deck is not great, I feel like. <laughs> but, you know... Lost one, won one. Incidentally, is in a better order for how these expeditions work. Because you'll see once we get past all of this junk. And we go to pick another friend. Let's see. This doesn't matter, but maybe I'll come back to doing this later. I don't think we need another Katarina. Probably got a lot of three drops. That's pretty good. Need a four drop. How many twos do we have? Several. Let's take this one. I don't know if I'm actually going to even keep playing this later. Who knows? <laughs> but you'll see that before we had like a little red exclamation mark that's like, oh, if you lose another one in a row, you lose the run. But uh, now we filled this in and that went away. So we're back to being in safe land. And it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six. Six is how many you need to win in a row. Well, not all, technically in a row. Win six without losing two in a row is what you need to do. Um, but 50-50, I feel like they were fairly competitive games, so that's nice. Uh, and got some more of our synergy to work there at the end uh, with that buff that we kept for... Uh, that big old zero twelve 12 man, which basically won us the game. So, at least the deck worked out some in that regard. Hashtag, go me. <laughs> so there you go, Legends of Rotera. I think it's nice. Can kind of show you some of the reward track stuff here quickly. Um, it's nice because you can kind of pick the style of deck you want. These regions have different types of cards if you want like an aggressive deck or one with a lot of spells or one that kind of has a bunch of big minion boys you put on the board uh, you kind of can figure out what that is and select uh, a region to like progress your rewards through and then other than that it's just kind of got like a battle pass structure you cannot pay to progress this one i do not believe so that's nice it's all through in-game xp um, and there's also 
Uh, let's see, where is it? Collection? Rewards? Is that where it just was? There's daily quests, which is not what I was looking for. Um, oh yeah, I'm not sure where it is, but there is a weekly... Oh, there it is. The weekly vault. <laughs> that uh, you level up just through completing daily quests, completing matches, etc. Um, right now, mine's at level 4, almost 5. Thank you, phone. You can go up to almost, er, to I believe, level 11. And these chests upgrade, uh, and the rewards get better, and they get r really good <laughs> um, uh, if you make it into those later tiers, uh, and that's just from playing. So I think it's the healthiest free-to-play model for a card game. Uh, it's really polished. There's a ton of game modes. Um, I've been playing recently a little bit of this Path of the Champions, which is uh, a PvE thing. A little bit like what we did with Hearthstone. Um, it's fun. But remember... Superpowers aren't real, but you can be super by helping helping people with a good deed every day. 